Have you ever had to strike that balance between flexibility and quality, especially when it comes to doing something like adding type to a poster, a flyer, or, I don't know, a clam page, anything like that? Well, there's a feature inside of Photoshop that so many people are just not even aware of that enables you to have incredible flexibility and a whole ton of quality without ever having to rasterize your type. So check out this two minute tip right now. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com the very best place to learn Photoshop and Lightroom. I've got a two minute tip right now where I'm gonna show you something with type that's gonna unlock all the flexibility that you've always wanted without compromising the quality. So I'm gonna use this photo I shot of Jesse Pridemore and we were doing a cosplay on Alita. And now I see that the movie Battle Angel Alita is coming out. This is gonna be just perfect to use for this example. And by the way, I'm curious, what is your favorite movie or your favorite genre of movies? Let me know underneath. I'm actually quite excited about Battle Angel Alita. I don't know if you are, let me know. But anyway, let's jump in. And what we wanna do is we wanna distort the type here on the word Alita and we've got text. And for those who are gonna ask, this is the font that I'm using up here. I can't pronounce it. It's Hayton Schweller or something. Somebody knows what it is. Hatten Schweller or something like that. Um, so in case you're asking, that's what it is. And this one here is just Arial. So what I'm gonna do is make sure a leader is selected and I'm gonna hit Control T for free transform. Now this is usually where you right click and you go in and you distort. However, notice it's grayed out. And I know I hate it when these things are grayed out. It's like being starving at a vending machine. You see a Snickers bar inside and you don't have any change. So you can look at it and you can even imagine what it tastes like, but you can't touch it. So I'm gonna show you how to break that glass right now where you can touch it. Okay, so what most people would do is come over here, right click and they would choose to rasterize the type and then that gives the flexibility. Problem with rasterize type, let me make a quick copy of this here is if we take a rasterized text and a regular text and let's just hit control T and we're gonna scale these all the way down, hit enter, hit control T and make them back. That would be command T on Mac, control T on Windows. Let's separate the two. Whoa, okay, look what happened there. So when you rasterize it, you lose quality. So let me delete it, that's not an option. So how do we get this flexibility without losing the quality? What we do is we right click in here and instead of choosing rasterize type, go down to where it says convert to shape. And if we convert it now, what we've got now is a shape layer. So if I duplicate this just really quickly so we can just show you, and we control T or command T, we shrink it all the way down, hit enter, control T, command T, make it nice and big again. Look at this, we have lost zero quality. And that's because we're working with a vector it's down here and select on there. And notice we have points that we can adjust. So this is using vectors just like what you would get in Illustrator. Okay, but the other cool thing is if we select our type here, hit Control or Command T for free transform, right click, notice all our options are there. So now we can choose distort and we can distort this type and you know do whatever we want with it. So if we wanna create some kind of a cool effect like this, where it's a, more of a perspective effect, we can do that. And also because it's a rasterized type, if we go down here and we grab our path selection tool or our direct selection, doesn't really matter. We select it here, we can change the color. We could add a gray to it. If we wanted to add an outline to it or a stroke, we could do that. Let's change the thickness of it. And you can see the amount of flexibility that we have with this. And if we don't like that, of course, we can go back and we can change it and do whatever we want. The second part of this tip, if you have a bunch of type on a page and you're sending it to someone that doesn't have the font, if you rasterize that text, it's gonna maintain its full quality. It can still be scaled up and down, but it's not gonna get substituted for another font when it goes out for print or something like that. Also worth mentioning, um, I just started up an Instagram TV account. So I've been posting a couple of little inspirational Photoshop things and Photoshop tips. So if you wanna join me there, uh, check me out on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, check out my pictures and follow my TV stories that I'm gonna do for now and we'll see where that leads to.
So anyway, guys, I hope you liked this little tip. If you did, smash that like button into dust. And if you like these kind of tutorials, I do a new tutorial every single week, every Tuesday, sometimes Saturdays and other days as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button right now, become part of the cafe crew and also ring that little bell right next to it and add a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this. Also, if you've got any suggestions, what tutorials would you like to see, drop those in the comments. And so guys, until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.